what's going on with these <laughs> They say it's that signal in Vegas. Oh, there we go. You can hear me? Yeah, I hear you. Okay, so we'll just start on. So, can you tell us how you got started in racing on big rounds and how long you've actually been a part of the car culture? Actually, I've been building cars since I was, since I could drive. I, my first car was an SS Monte Carlo in 88. So what? I was about 14, 15 years old back then. But I, the game? Was, I, I built, when I was building, redoing my dunk, I had my dunk for at least since 2001, 2002. And about 2010 or 12, I redid it. And I told my mechanic I wanted something different under the hood. And I ended up with a blower, and then that started all the racing shit. <laughs> so, you started off as Team G-Body, now you're in the dunk game. Oh, I still got a G-Body. Hmm. It just ain't fast, but it's in the garage. You know, I'm a G-Body girl now. I'm going to have to request some pictures of that. Yeah, I got an 85 El Camino. Oh, yeah, I'm going to have to see that. You're going to have to send some pictures of that. Okay, so we'll get right into the fans' questions. Um, first question is, how did you get started? Um, how did you um, get hooked up with Dunk Master? Well, we was in, we was at Jamal show in Sacramento, the first class of the Titans. Uh-huh. And uh, I was supposed to race cotton candy. They tricked me and, and brought cantaloupe out. But that's how that got started. And we've been partners ever since. Oh, okay. That's pretty cool. Um. Oh, this is a great question. What made you have Dunk Master build your car versus someone where you live? We get it done and we can tune them. We don't really got a tuner out this way. Well, not in Vegas. And I and I seen him come off the trailer from all the way across the country and didn't even change the oil and was whooping ass in Tony Van's car. Without even looking, he came right off the Oh man, you started breaking up again. You started breaking up again. Oh man. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. But you know what? You started breaking up again. I don't know what happened. It must be your Wi-Fi wherever you are, or maybe you could turn on the Wi-Fi. Okay, so that's a little bit better. That's that's good. We good. Did I come back? Yes. Oh, okay. Go ahead. Yeah, we're good. Um, so do you have plans to build any other cars outside of the dump that you're that's that you race now? Actually I got a seventy five at Dunk Master Shop. We're just waiting on the motor to get dropped off. It's actually my wife. Hmm. My wife got a seventy five converter. So she wanna so, so she we about to see. So she gonna be living for some smoke with anybody? Yeah. And it's going to be a heavyweight car, not a middleweight. What? I definitely can't wait to see that. You know I'm all about the girls on the big, in the big brown racing. You know, Bruce told um, me that Bruce locked in Paris already. He said that's going to be our first race. So I don't think she's going to be able to handle us, but we're going to see. She's the only other female <laughs> with a dunk. Well, that's going to be interesting. It's, I know a few of them with them, but they don't race them. Say that again. I know a few females with dunks, but they don't race. Oh, well, they finna have an opportunity. (laughs) What is a fun fact that the fans or your supporters would be surprised to know about you? Hmm. 
That's a good question. Uh, all right, that's a good question. What would they be surprised that I'm definitely camera shot and I don't like doing this? Really? Yeah. Listen, when you told me that, I was like, you are not camera shot. Yeah. <laughs> you gotta piss me off. If you piss me off, I'll be all with it. <laughs> Alright, so I asked this question to all the guys and it's interesting to see their you know, the, the wide range of the answers, so it's a two-part question What do you think is helping Big Rim Racing and what is hurting Big Rim Racing? What I think is hurting the Big Rim Racing is that we don't got no rules for it. You can have slick, I mean they coming up with tub cars they want to race you with a G body. I think we need some rules. I think what what I liked about it was that you was a show car at the car show and you get on the track. If, I feel if your car ain't show, car show ready, you don't need to be on the side of me. That's just how I feel. With the dunk what races, with dunk racing uh -huh. skills, I think they went too far. They just they'll they'll let you bring anything to the staging lanes. I seen cars with no radiators, no music. They don't even care if they want a car. They ain't thought about the car show part. They just trying to win the race. I be looking at being the car show, the music, all of it. And that's how it was, and it seemed like everything is just uh, just whatever, however fast you can get your thumb. They don't even care if, if they got paint on them. What do you think is helping Big Ram Racing? Ooh, what's helping it? That's a good question. What's helping it? Things that are helping the big rim race. I, I I don't know that question. I'm lost on that one. So we definitely need to get together if I can't answer that question. <laughs> Things like no show, the helping for show. This show right here helping. You helping for show. You well, know. thank you. I, I appreciate it. Now that the corona I here, I can do it more than once a week. We ain't got nothing to do. I do it twice a week. Oh, is it twice a week? Yeah, I do it on Tuesdays and Thursdays. That let me know you ain't been watching. Man, I, this thing been having me crazy. I ain't been watching too much of that. It might seem like I'll be on... And hey, you break it up again. I don't, I don't be on my Instagram until nighttime for a couple hours. Yeah, you are breaking up again. Why is that, that phone so close to your face? I'm trying to hear you. I can't hear you. My ears don't work that well. Oh, okay, okay, okay. It's, it's listening to all them loud motors. Oh, I've been deaf. I don't know what's wrong with it. All right, so how do you balance race and track life and your personal life? One more time. Say that one more time for me. How do you balance race and track life and your personal life? Actually, my two little girls, my one-year-old, my four-year-old, and my wife, they love this shit much as I do. So it make it real easy for me. My 15-year-old, no, he, he could tell less. Right. But yeah, so he's not a car guy? My family make it real easy because they into it just like I am. Your 15-year-old is not a car guy? What? I gave him the El Camino. He ain't nasty driving. <laughs> you should have told him. You know I could have sold that car and got so much money. You <laughs> know I ain't going to sell it. I can't tell him that one. He's going to laugh. He's going to go online. But he had a baby seat. Where did you see Carlo I was talking about earlier. So he probably won't uh -huh. have cars. He started real early. He had a baby seat in my old school. Oh, wow. Um, the car, too. Dang. Now, that's dope. I would have loved to see that. 
I got some pictures somewhere over there at home, but I, I, I wish I had another photo of that car, but I did. Gonna have to send me that because I definitely want to see that. Um, next question is What's the best race you've been in? The best race would be probably Six C. He passed away last year. When I raced Six C, he had that white hard top 75. Uh huh. Okay. Huh. Hmm. Well, I'm sorry for that. I'm sorry for your loss. I didn't, I didn't know him, but I'm sorry for your loss. Yeah, he, he was. He, um, was like, he was. He was the person I woke up every day arguing on the internet with. Wow. Yeah, he That's was crazy. my best competition for sure. Dang. And he supported everything. Our car club did. Yeah, he came and did his thing every time. What's the best event? event you have attended? I would say Clash of the Titans, the first one. Uh-huh. That thing was hopping. It was loud. <laughs> it seemed like shows in Cali be all all the time. They like, uh, it's like everyone I've seen, because I plan to come to the one this year, Clash of the Titans, but everyone I've ever seen it's just been like so many cars, so many wide varieties of cars. Yeah, it definitely was anything you could think of out there in the Bay Area because they they trick everything out out there. Huh. You go to the Bay, you're going to see something you ain't seen before. Oh, I'll be there. If if, if A to the Bay show still happens, well, the, if Clash of the Titans happens again, still happens this year, May 30th, I plan to come. I would plan on the October 30th because May 30th, it doesn't look like that's going to happen. Right, right. But I was thinking the same. having his bigger show in October. Yeah, I guess October it is. Well, hopefully, I, I want something to do in May, but I don't think everybody, everybody's still going to be scared in May. Right, right. But yeah, Jamal's show definitely was the biggest, nicest, no violence, no bullshit show I ever been to. Nobody played with the money. You didn't have to go look for your money when we were betting. What's the most valuable lesson you've learned throughout your time in this car game? Take your time building your car. Don't rush it. Did you have experience with rushing your car and something happening, or did you just learn from seeing other people? No, just trying to make a deadline or trying to make a show. That's the stupidest shit ever. Don't do that. When it's done, it's done. Don't try to make no deadline. You're going to waste a whole bunch of money for nothing. Okay. If you could give someone looking to get into the big rim racing one piece of advice, what would that be? Run your car, not your mouth. Okay. All right. So, what do you think about um, having, so you mentioned a little earlier, you think it should be rules. So, do you think it should be stuff like, um, because I've always consistently brought up to the people that follow me, things like Rookie of the Year. Do you think... There should be things like that in the game. We want to know who was the rookie of the year. Yeah, all the that. Virgin, I mean, virgin drive, rookie drivers, all of that. Experienced drivers. But, uh, yeah, I think it definitely should be different classes. Because your car can be fastest car in the world. If you can't drive it, you can't drive it. So they're not giving the people a chance that don't know how to drive to even get in the game because they got to drive against the best. You broke up at the end, so we don't know what you said at the end. Oh, pull over right here. So I was saying, I think it should be classes because the rookie drivers could have the fastest car in the world. If they don't know how to drive, 
you know, they're not giving them a shot at all if they got to drive against dunk masters to, to drive. You know what I mean? Right. So I that's a great segue. Drive their own car. Look, that, that's a great segue because the next question was, um, how do you feel about people who don't drive their own car? I mean, some cars are just that fast, and I respect that. But if your car ain't that, if you ain't running nines and tens, draw your own car. Now, once they so fast, yes, that shit dangerous. So, no, I'm not. I'm not trying to talk people into killing themselves. But if your car ain't, if you a middle way, your car ain't in the tens and nines, and draw your own car. Cut it out. Heavyweights, they got a reason not to be driving their car. They got a hundred thousand dollars in a motor, and if they wreck it, it's over. You know. So yeah, they need good drivers. But if you ain't no heavyweight, I don't. I think you should have to drive your own car. This is a great question. Um, I noticed that sometimes when people ask questions about financial stuff. It may not get answered, but I think it's a great question. Um, what's the most expensive part you have ever had to buy for your car? You don't have to really tell us the name of the part, but how much did you spend on that part? 22000 I answered for that one, quick, For I one think, part? I think about that all day. <laughs> for one part? One part. Look, I'm probably that crying in the car. I ain't seen that part yet, though. That part still is still in the mix. Y'all haven't seen it yet, for sure. <laughs> when do you think your car will be ready? We 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 hope in May. Think in May, because uh-huh. it still got to go to stitch by slick after they put the motor in to do the interior. But the paint and, and suspension and frame and everything else is done. All it needs. Once the motor go in, and go to stitch by slick and it'll be ready. So we was hoping to do the motor this month and the interior next month. You see what he said in the comments? He said, damn, Jeezy boys. When you said 22000 it, it it hit me in the pit of my stomach. Yeah, it, it, it took a lot for me to do that. When I heard what it was going to cost me, it took me two and a half weeks to figure it out. Wow. <laughs> What's the, what do you think, since you've been racing, so, so, so since you've been um, in the big round racing, what's the most, the best year you've had, the most fun year, the most, the year where you had the most fun at shows, the year where you just, it was like, oh man, this is awesome. Um, the best year I would say last year except for I didn't forget to bring my car everywhere I wanted to take it but last year was one of the funnest years mine was 2018 I want to say 19 was crap for me but 2018 was a good year Actually, 17 and 18 probably tied because they were both great years. Oh, man, you froze up again. Oh, you're back. Did okay. I come back yet? Yeah. I'll say for me, it was a tie between 17 and 18. Those were amazing years. Now, 19 wasn't so good for me. No, nah, I'm going I'm to take that back. My best year. My best year was 2013 when my car club threw their first car show. That was my oh, best year. Cool. Yeah, 2013. So you I have a yearly car, car show? Every hat. You see, it's on the hat. Oh, 2013. Yeah. So you have a yearly car show? Yeah. Oh, I guess we can't ask when it's going to be this year because you don't know. November 7th. Oh, 
over, so you good. Yeah. I, just, I know you was like. I actually went and paid for everything yesterday. I know you was like. It's one of them times I'm glad my thing happened in November. I'm still scared that it ain't gonna happen though. I'm I'm not sure that we in the clear. Really? I, you know, I gotta believe that the world will be the outside will be open back up by November. I, I'm praying it do. I'm hoping it's open back up by at least the end of May, but I don't think it's safe that early. Yeah. So, where do you see Big Ram Racing in the next five years? On everybody's television if we get it together. Oh, I will pin that November 7th. Got it. I'll pin that for you. You say on everybody's TV? Yeah, it's going to be on everybody's living room TV eventually. You think You think um, that the big realm racers can get it together? If we could just stop hating on each other, there's enough money out here for everybody. And me, it ain't, and me, it ain't even the money. It's just making my money back so I can have fun doing what I'm doing for free. You think that'll happen? It could. I don't know how soon, but you know, it take a lot for us black folks to get together and be all on the same page. If, they, if them Florida boys and them Carolina boys could get on the same page, they would have been on the TV. I yep. get credit when they do. Two Fly and DNL and In and Out, they definitely, they definitely been putting on for the culture. And if them two could get together, then it'd be something else. And Dunk Master probably cussing me out right now. He ain't seen things, but oh well, that's the truth. Why do you think he cussing? He not cussing you out. They all got, they got their own beats. I don't got nothing to do with that. I don't know nothing about it. But I know if, if they got, if, if everybody's on the same in sync, boy, they'd be something to reckon with. Street you outlaws and all that shit, boy, they would be off the air. They would be in trouble. You know what I told them? I say sometimes I feel like they're stepping over dollars um, to make pennies. If everybody got together, y'all could have four shows a year. That's one show a quarter, one in March, one in June, one in September-ish, and one at the end of the year. Y'all could make easily 500000 750000 Yeah, To I see don't, I don't all the big names in one place. Yeah, I don't know what the numbers would be or how all that would work, but I know if they all was on the same scene, that shit would have been on everybody's television. Um, why do you think it's so hard for that to happen? We all from the streets, most of us. So what does that nobody. mean? We don't trust nobody. Playing the It's hard what do you to think? Bloods and Crips to come together. Put it like that. Hmm. Huh. Um. So I often tell the guys. Um. You know, I don't have. I don't have a team. I love all of you guys as brothers. Um. It makes me. It disheartens me. Um. Just like a lot of the fans. When we see the bickering and the going back and forth, we understand that some things are just race talk. But we, you know, we, especially as a woman, see, men, y'all are very prideful sometimes. Um, and we just don't see, I feel like if everybody could just understand that what is happening is for the greater good, then we'll be in a much better place. But then somebody will say, well, it ain't me, it's him. It ain't me, it's him. You know, so at some point, somebody got to take responsibility for their part in the whole situation and figure out how to fix it. Um, so the fans won't suffer. 
yeah, that's what. But we, well, we don't. Everybody that's in this dunk game don't understand that we do got fans. They ain't used to having fans. You know what I mean? This this something bigger than just the streets, but. A lot of people in the car game is from the streets, so it's hard to get them to come together because they got so many different, you know, views on things. But if it ever do happen where everybody can put their personal shit to the side, it'll be something bigger than life for sure. You know, our culture, they, they, these people have been paying to see our culture. You can see it with the rap. Like, rap done went from being illegal to play on the stereo to... You broke up. You said it went from oh, I said, it being illegal. It's just, it's just like rap. Rap it was illegal to play on your stereo at one point in time. Now it's the biggest thing going. They'll pay for our culture, for sure. People will pay to see what our culture is doing, and Big Ram Racing is one of them. All right. What would you like your fans or followers and supporters to know about Rags to Riches? We support everybody, everything around us. If it's if it's, it's if it's in the in the car game, we support it. Whether we like you or not, we show up and we show out. Where do you see the Rags to Riches brand in the next um, five years? Oh no, we gotta get our shit together too. But I don't know. That's a good question. <laughs> I definitely see my whole club being on the 18 wheeler traveling the country for sure. But no doubt about it. That's going to happen. This is a good question. Do you feel like dunks should race dunks only yes. or should they race other cars? Dunks should race dunks only. Every time Dunk Master race a little bitty ass car, I'll be yelling and cussing them out. Why would you do that stupid ass shit? And he said, I, I can get him. I know I can get him. <laughs> but yeah, I think dunks but if they race dunks. But if they only race dunks, then that would limit their racing. That's what this is. Go get you a dunk. Other cars way less. The, the dunk is the heaviest Chevy ever made besides the Cadillac. Everybody don't want a dunk. We're racing they class. <laughs> they don't want to like they don't they don't have a magazine for a dunk. You can't just go buy dunk parts. You gotta really build a dunk. So right. I mean that's when I say that if you don't sit like me, I don't want you sitting on the side of me. They said uh I, I was arguing with Murph about that one day. I was telling him if a dunk agrees to race a G body, then it shouldn't be no, you know, he he raced them. They doing that because it's going to, cause it just they took the fun out of it, so they just grabbing any race they can get. But if it was rules in place, we'll, it it would be way funner, and we'll truly know who the fastest and what. <laughs> Right now. Right now. I would say CC, Mancho. Right now. Dunk Master. Uh, oh, it's hard to pick three more fast dunks. Hold on. Jeez. CC Mancho. Let me see if you say who I think is the fastest. <laughs> who you think is the fastest right now? They I'm actually, gonna... actually race their car this year. Well, the year I ain't really been. I mean, I like know, the case. I know. Actually, race their car in the last six. Let's say since the classic. Yes. You can't count people that've been down for years. Yeah, but I, I still, let's still oh, got oh, two I'm more. Tripping, I'm tripping, I'm tripping. Hold on. CC, Wancho, Dunk Master, Hollywood. I don't have one more. 
Okay. Well, you said who I was saying, who I was thinking. <laughs> Yeah, I forgot about Hollywood. I forgot. But I'll be sure about no, Hollywood because he's part of the line. <laughs> so he really don't count in my book, but he do be racing, so I got to give him his credit. He fast, but he ain't got no radiator. They be pushing the car. That shit ain't fair. Uh, you know, I, 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 I want a lot of money with Hollywood. And well, he's just one of the top so I, five. I give him definitely one of the top five. I definitely. Um, so you care to tell us uh, what's going in your car now? With my new, my wife's car. The, uh, your car that Dunk Master's building. What's going on? What's ain't going in there? Ain't nothing changed. Dunk Master just tuned it. Ain't nothing changed. Oh, okay. He refreshed. Well, then tell it. He took the motor out, refreshed it. Put some nitrous on it, put it back in, and dialing it in, but it's pretty much the same setup. Besides the What's going in your wife's car? A LS. What type of LS? I can't tell y'all all that yet. We, <laughs> we, we, I told you it's going to be a heavyweight car, so I can't give out what I'm doing yet. My own club brothers don't know what I'm doing. Hmm. They know okay. what they're doing. Well, those were all of my questions. Um, so at the end of the interview, when I've asked all my questions, I have at the end, I give you the floor. I give the person the floor that it has. I have been interviewing them. And it's your time to talk your shit. So what you got to say? Bruce, we on your ass, boy. <laughs> you and Perry. All you black ass motherfuckers down there, we on y'all ass. I heard you on live earlier. I'm on y'all ass. First show, we'll be there. <laughs> and MJ, I got to give him his back. MJ's talking about I was that was an accident in Vegas. So him and Bruce, they're going to get it first. Even though MJ's so slow, he ain't worth it. But he going to get it. Why everybody give MJ Why such a hard time? Why everybody give MJ my partner? He, that's my partner, but not when it comes to racing. Oh, MJ. Well, I know we had a little bit of technical difficulty, but I wanted to tell you thank you so much for taking time out of your schedule to answer our questions. Um, we can't wait to see when your wife's car comes out. We can't wait to see how, you know, what you say is just a tune. We can't wait to yeah, see. It's just a tune. It's the same motor under there. Ain't no change. We can't say, wait to see when just the tune runs. <laughs> That's a show car. That car coming home. The other car gonna stay on the trailer. But my green car, that's coming home. I, 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 I can't even sleep at night. Well, like I said, thank you so much for sitting down with us. We really appreciate it. Um, And yeah, that's all I got for you. Right on. Keep up the keep up what you got going on. We like it. Thank you so much. I know you said you were camera shy, but you did a great job. Right on. All right. Have a good day. You too. <laughs>